good morning students today we will see about vital statistics are you understanding first you have to understand what is vital statistics and how they are collecting what are all the sources what is the classification uses what is vital signs vital signs what is vital signs temperature pp pulse it is called vital signs why we are finding out to understand the health status of the individual right so what is vital statistics vital statistics also to understand about the health status of our nation that's what we have a vital statistics for that this data is are collected vital data what is the vital state of our individual it is collected bp sugar whatever it may be health vital status temperature pulse respiration when there is a deviation how this data is collected here what is the data collection method what is the sources of tools for data collection what is the tools for the individual data collection you need bp apparatus you need the stethoscope you need other things but here is the tools for the measurement of the vital statistics it is called the rate ratios and the proportions are you understanding that's what is the rates mortality rate morbidity rate ratios what is the x is to y what is the male is to male is to female like that are you understanding percentage so these are all the tools for the measurements why are we measuring why are we are measuring the vital um, signs for the diagnosis right or not same way vital statistics to measure this data for diagnose the community for diagnosing we are plan for the treatment right or not here also program planning we when we diagnose the community what is the rate is increasing imr rate is increase or mmr accordingly we are the government is planning program the pro program planning maybe any program they are planning they are adding these problems into the population program or a national population policy or the nrhm scheme or separate scheme they will be making it are you understand my introduction let us go to the topic will see the definition of vital statistics vital statistics is nothing but systematically collection and compilations of the data numerical form of a data records of the vital events what is that when systematically collected it's like a, some systems are there how to collect it morbidity mortality all these statistics john crunt he is the first uh, person who studied the mortal uh, vital statistics in 16 60 22 1622 1674 so just he was collecting who how many dying and how many sick like that collected later on it become a vital statistics so he is called the father of vital statistics william far he has collected the medical statistics like what all the disease condition so he is asked for the father of medical statistics maybe the one word if it's coming you can write it <clears throat> what is the classification of vital statistics before that where is this vital information you will get it right or not because it's the health of the total country right or not so where the sources you will be getting that's called the first one is a population census population census civil registration system sample registration system rural uh, survey and ad hoc sa sample survey institutional records epidemiological record disease record school health record the diabetes record epidemiological surveillance report everything is the sources of vital statistics what they are collecting how it's classified like as i told you early mortality mor mortality statistics morbidity statistics fertility statistics and population statistics what is called the census the census is a very important method this started in the british period 1972 the main thing you have to understand that every 10 years only they were conducting the census last they have taken a census for 2021 so 2021 the census only they will talk about for the another 10 year the same statistics no changes will be coming how are they collecting this is a total collection of a compiling of the data demographic data will be included economic data social data who is collecting the data what is the benefit of this this also helpful for the socio economic status of our country right or not <clears throat> including birth mortality and who is collecting so this will be door to door every it takes long time to collect different enumerator will be collecting the main disadvantage is the enumerator should not do any mistakes different enumerator may be interpreted in a different way the problem may be coming okay but it is a very costly 
but the limitation is if they interpret manipulate or something they do only field work is very important so one supervisor may be having a 10 enumerator they have to train what is the importance of the statistics that's called the population what is called registration system you know very well what is registration everyone even you born or die you need the certificates right or not you are in a village or in the anywhere there are health people are there even you village you see the village audigar will be there anm will be there asha will be there anywhere the even the child born in a even a, unfortunately the child born in the village home delivery also they will take help you to register your this one if you see the village tasal taluk district state central all these registers are automatically been updated are you understanding so this uh, these people are rural area panchayat raj people will be there panchayat health officials will be the district collector will be there district health officer will be there each cadre so they are the responsible person to see the check the data whether the data is correct and it is been rightly collected from the uh, decentralized area to the centralized area so this is called the civil registration system understand next may be the Uh, next maybe is uh, like a notification of the disease maybe suddenly diseases are coming record maintained by the some of the municipality this many people are dying in the death certificate itself how the people are dying the re reason for the death one column is there are you understanding and then this one will be uh, will be annually monthly weekly it is been evaluated and the epidemiologist will be there they always do the statistics collections and all these things though all they also will be maintaining what is the sudden outbreak of cholera or plague or dengue and if you go every institution there will be a record you go to the ho hospitals apollo hospital or corporate hospitals those data also must be transparent and it should be submitted to the hospital national sample survey it is started in this 1950 to 51 there 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 also they are having a social economic state mainly by the national nutritional Medi Medi medical bureau mainly conducting this sample survey are you understanding then the hospital records are you understanding so some of the data and all you will get only through the hospital records for example when this enumerator going and asking are you had a contact with anyone or do you have a sexually transmitted disease nobody will be telling but one or other time they might have gone to the nearby hospital they may be diagnosed maybe that record will be there so the hospital records will be giving the very valuable information which the enumerator cannot be collected when the people very sensitive information about the sex life or sexual diseases also some other department will be collecting the environmental health data like the population explosion in waste disposal other department right or not water pollution uh, like air pollution the data you might have seen the delhi how they are been polluted why the why it is been like that are you understanding air pollution so the data will be telling every year the air pollution rate is increasing they will find out what is the diagnosis they found out that the farmers are burning the sugar cane so that is the reason they diagnosed it then they have to control the farmer and uh, and they have motivated one day one vehicle number has to go and use sharing vehicle system many thing the government trying to implement after diagnosing with the help of this data then is another one is sample registration system it is also based on the dual recording system it is <clears throat> it is comprising continuous registration of the vital events along with the half yearly survey retrospectively we'll see and they will see how much the data is are getting matched who are been used for the sample registration mainly school teachers also been used epidemiological surveillance so epidemiologist always will be look about that like how the doctor is in the hospital epidemiologist for the community are you understanding epidemiologist role if any one cholera outbreak is coming they go they treat the individual and also they go where is the cholera they prevent it in the communities they are called the community doctor you can tell them so this epidemiological surveillance record will be the beautiful data which will be helpful so this one helpful for national control program reports will be there new cases of any this one then this survey report will be immediately will be find out during the covid time epidemiological report also were very much helpful are you understanding so these are all these systems of the collection of the data do you know what is the modern modern data is called the hmis now like a mobile phone everyone is a computer era right or not 
Moreover, we are in the AI era, artificial intelligent era. What is called HMIS? This is the health management information system. This health management information systems are very much currently helpful to take the vital events from the primary health care center. Every day they report the data. They have a attached computer people and all these people are working and every day they are reporting. The data may be processed every month and then uh, Ministry of Health record it is being maintained. So it is carefully watched. So all these data are helpful to diagnose the community. Are you understanding? How do you collect the data from the individual? Objective data, subjective data, right? Same way in a country's data are collected in a various different form we are collecting. So vital signs is the individual health, vital statistics is our country's health. A temperature thermometer are helpful to measure the vital statistics. Here these, there are various methods and sources are help to measure the data. There is a tools for measurement is called rate ratios and proportions. So if you remember these things you can write. <coughs> Then we will see about the uses of vital statistics. As I told beginning itself, it is it is a comp it is the assess the composition of the population, right? How many uh, people are there? How much adult are there? Uh, how the countries? The human resource we can assess. If you assess the human resource in China, you will see that China is the old age population is very high but when you measure it is equally present more population in a, uh, adolescents and young children and adult not like only uh, old age population is high in china comparatively human resource is very good in india right or not then also we have to come uh, also another problems like uh, this statistics will tell environmental statistics that much can you protect uh, pro produce rice or paddy or something so you have to control the population also on the other side but our population is a healthy population because not one population is increased like a china we are that's why every country is afraid of our vital <coughs> statistic population statistics okay then what is that then what is the future trend what's going to be there now what's the future trending before we if you see uh, the bo girls population was more compared with the boys now the trend is going to be there is a more demand for the girls that is a new trend and they prioritize the health programs and what is the health legislation what act we can do and then compare the statistics with the past and uh, present and make the program planning to diagnose the community and discover the solution for the problem uh, problems and to estimate the future need according to estimation we can include in the program planning are you understanding so vital statistics is a, is a systematic collection and compiling of the numerical form of the data or records related with the morbidity mortality fertility and population events has been recorded in a systematic manner this is called vital statistics hope you have understand what is vital science and what is vital statistics individual health and the country or the community health is called the vital statistics thank you